So let's see, cube root of eight is two, squared is four. So here we get x equals four. And just by the way, that is our critical point and our only critical point, correct? And so since that's the only critical point, well, that's the place where the derivative can change from being positive to negative, which means it's where the function can change from being increasing to decreasing. So let's lay out a number line. <laughs> So let's say we've got zero over here. So it's not all real numbers, so we're starting it at zero. And then uh, the number four is important. And what we're doing is breaking up this, well, it's really like a half number line, right? It's like a ray. And we're breaking that up at four. And now what we'll do from here is take some test points and plug those into the derivative. So maybe a test point over here, which would be a good choice, would be the number one. And then a test point over here that would be a good choice is, so let's do a little bit of forward thinking and look at the derivative. It's got square roots in it. So who would be a good test point? Five. No. Yeah, nine, right? The next perfect square. Cool. So now let's see what we get. So if we do f prime of one, um, well, is that positive or negative? That gives us one over eight minus one. Well, I don't need to do the calculation. I know that that's negative. We actually don't care what the number is. We just care about the sign. So that means that the function is decreasing in this region. And then, well, what happens if you plug in nine? Let's see, f prime of nine. So that's gonna be one over eight times the square root of nine. That's one over 27. And then minus one over nine squared. So that's minus one over 81. And then just like before, I don't really need to do the calculation because I can see that that's gonna be a positive number because one over 27 is pretty clearly bigger than one over nine. So that means in this region, we are increasing. So now we can put this all together and we have that our function is decreasing on the interval from zero to four, and then it's increasing um, on the interval from four, you know, never ending, so four to infinity. Also, that gives us a local what, where? Yeah, at, yeah, so we have a local minimum at x equals four, and the local minimum is well, it's f of four. You plug it into the original function because when you're talking about it being increasing or also like it being a minimum or concavity, you're using derivatives to describe the original function. 